So first of all, just I always make sure that uh, I just make sure that the knees are well bent up over here. I just like them to feel stable on the table because if he feels like he's about to roll off, he's going to be posturing up on me, and I'm not going to be able to have an efficacious treatment. I like to do it from, uh, I like to treat from the back right over here, notably because when I'm in the front, I'm like, uh, his face is right in my crotch right over here. And so I think for less awkwardness for both of us, let's just go ahead and stand behind him. And some of the things I prefer to be able to do uh, um, from uh, the, the technique, I think works a little bit better uh, just when you're behind them as well. Okay, so um, as far as you, you guys have kind of learned just to kind of, you feel the motion and then you just kind of go through the steps. Um, as I go through each one of the steps, I will, you know, it's like, I mean, if I feel no restriction at all, but as I'm kind of bringing back over here, I am feeling some capsular restriction right over here. And one thing that I've learned from, I um, uh, used to be a team doc for the, one of the team docs for the Philadelphia Phillies. He was a DO uh, that was OMM trained. Um, he really talked about, you know, how we don't really address the shoulder capsule as much. Sometimes we're addressing the shoulder joint, but we don't think about the shoulder capsule as much. So I'm stabilizing over here on the uh, top of the shoulder. But as I go through each step of this right over here, Okay, so I'll have, I'll kind of bring it up to get that capsular stretch. Go ahead and push forward a little bit against me over here. Okay, and sometimes people need to be shown how to kind of, you know, bring it through the right motion if you don't feel them activating the muscles. So anytime you're doing muscle energy, you want to make sure that they're really activating the ankle relax. You want to make sure they're activating the muscle that you intend for. So I try to have my hand palpating over that muscle that I want them to engage. And then I will go ahead and I'll engage my barrier, but I'll use my hand here to help stretch that capsule a little bit more. And so I do that for most stages of seven stages of Spencer. So bring him up more into uh, um, flexion over here. Relax, he's, I got you, relax, I got you, I got you. And if they're not relaxing, I just do what I call shaken adult syndrome. I just kind of shake them until they just kind of chill and relax. Okay, so I just kind of bring them up until I feel that capsule kind of stretch right over here. Go ahead and push down against me over this way here. And then relax. Okay, and so I'll take them to that new barrier, but then I'll also really work on that capsule in between there. Also. Okay, and so you know we have all those different little stages as far as you know. Um, so did you guys learn the mnemonic with that? Do um, you still use the mnemonic? <laughs> Elephants flatulate constantly to annoy highly intelligent people. Or? Yeah, that's about sure. I just along that line. It's not sexual, but it's funny enough that you can remember it. So okay. Um, so anyways, yeah, I go through all those different phases. You know, the um, one thing that I saw when we're teaching this, I don't feel like there's enough importance on the um, compression and circumduction and traction and circumduction stages. So when you bring them up for the uh, compression and circumduction, what I'm really feeling for is uh, very similar to when I'm doing labral testing. I am going to be putting a load kind of into that shoulder capsule towards the, um, towards the labrum. And as I kind of bring it through, I'm feeling for, you know, like I'm doing like little, little kind of circles, trying not to punch them in the face in the process here. Just, Okay, but I'm doing little circles and trying to feel for any kind of restriction that I might feel. Okay, a lot of times after shoulder injury, we develop these little micro adhesions that really end up just causing slight impairment and, and cause us a little bit of a disability. And so I do that both, you know, in a clockwise and counterclockwise kind of fashion. If I do start to feel it, I start small circles and then I kind of work into bigger circles until I feel like I've kind of cleared that up. So I almost feel like uh, if I have like a mortar, I'm trying to kind of just, you know, put it in there and grind it until I feel it nice and smooth. Yeah, just like a little, like, uh, I mean, if I feel like a big clunk or something like that, I'm not going to torture him through that because that might be like a labral tear or something. Mm -hmm. But if it's more along the lines of, uh, um, if I just feel like it's more of like a, um, just like a, like, again, like a little bit of a scar tissue or something okay. like that. So that's what I'm really kind of feeling for with this. Um, with people with arthritis, I do this, uh, um, I will do this, but liberally, because I, if they have really bad blood humor arthritis, you want to kind of flare that up also. Okay. But the traction uh, one, so when I will do the traction and just make sure he's just kind of laying on here good. So I'll start right over here again, starting with my small circles. But then, you know, I think about like a, a lot of the functional things that we do with the shoulder as far as reaching back over here, reaching up overhead. So when we think about this area right here, yeah, we do a lot over here, but a lot of the dysfunctional areas tends to be up over here down back over here. This is where people are really complaining. They're saying, I can't reach my wall in my back seat. I can't wipe myself when I go to the restroom. I can't scratch my back. I can't take off my bra. Not me personally, okay? <laughs> I can take it off just fine, so. <laughs> all right. So just, I try to make sure that I kind of work through all those different motions. So um, I go over here and I'll work in internal and external rotation. So I'll kind of increase the internal rotation, work on that. And as I do this, as you get good at doing OMM, 
I always say, I try to, you know, it's like I'm very often not looking at what I'm working on, I'm looking at faces because my, one of my things I like to say is uh, that um, mouths can lie but faces can't. And a lot of people will not tell you when you're really kind of beating them up. And I just remember this one lady, I was working on her and I was like, you okay? And she's like, yes, I see this chair just rolled out of her cheek. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I don't have to torture you. And she's like, just do what you need to do. I'm like, I don't have to torture you, God, yeah. So, uh, but some people just like, they're so just like kind of, they just want, you know, just do what you need to kind of doc. But, you know, when I'm doing it with them, I don't want it to be a painful experience for them. I don't want them to leave feeling kind of traumatized from it. And so, um, again, just looking at faces, constantly asking for feedback, making sure that's feeling all right. So, again, kind of going through internal rotation, notably as I kind of get to these positions. I always joke that I want to, I say I want to make sure you can get arrested nice and comfortably. Okay, because I could just think if you know you got pinned back over here and you had some shoulder dysfunction, that would just kind of kill you. Okay, and then I'll just kind of rotate it so I get some more external rotation as I kind of come down over here. How's that kind of feel? Okay, so I'll kind of work it and again working on that capsule as I'm doing that. So that's a real big phase of this stages of Spencer that I think is really important that often gets pretty neglected on. Um, as far as doing um, internal external rotation, so I'll do it from some uh, different angles. And so uh, for, uh, um, uh, sometimes I'll just kind of do uh, um, extra rotation right over here. And so I'll just go, so I'll go ahead and just kind of pitch forward over this way right here. Pitch forward like you're throwing. So there you go. Okay, and relax. And so I can work a little bit over that way there. Um, with internal rotation, so, um, you know, some people, I mean, you guys are young and healthy, so it's easier to kind of get the shoulder back over in this position over here. That said, face is telling me that he doesn't like it a ton. So I can kind of adjust it a little bit over here if I need to, to make it a little bit more comfortable. Some people, they can't get back. So one little trick is if it's difficult kind of getting it back this way, you can straighten the arm, put it back over this way right here. Another little trick is if you just can't get them back over here is I just kind of do them right, right over here. So again, I was a wrestler, so I employ a lot of wrestling based kind of things into my OMT. And so I kind of get, get them into a little bit of an arm bar right over here, yep. And, uh, and so right over here, I can say, go ahead and push against me this way here. Make sure he's active. Yep, nope, right. Yep, there you go, there it is. So make sure they're pushing the right way and relax. And then I can take it to that new barrier and see if I can get them nice and comfortably arrested after that. So uh, you get little variations that you can do with that. With the last stage, the pump, okay? I see a lot of people doing this the wrong way also. So the pump really should be, it should be a lymphatic kind of based treatment where you're kind of trying to use that as like almost like a suction kind of pump to get any kind of lymphatic debris that's out of this uh, glenohumeral capsule region right over here. So one thing that I'll do um, is I'll actually, as long as they're not like a leper or anything like that, I will go ahead and I'll pinch it against me right over here so I can get a lift on the shoulder just doing this right here alone. And so that couples well. And I'm trying to get right around that glenohumeral capsule, working around in a circle on that is really trying to kind of get the motion in there. And so that's usually the last thing that I'm doing there and it really helps loosen that entire area up over there. Okay, so um, let me see, is that is that a good break point to kind of practice something? So let's, let's go ahead and do that, just try the little modifications on Spencer right there.